Hey guys, so today I'm going to be going over the fourth grade worksheet. On the very first page, we got the expressions, and I'll be going over questions number one and number three. But before I do, I want you guys to remember the wor uh, word PEMDAS. It's P-E-M-D-A-S. Now, this stands for parentheses, exponent, multiplications, division, addition, and subtraction. And it's the order of the, um, what you're going to calculate first. So for example, on the very first pr problem, we got parentheses, 18 divided by three plus two. Now because on our PEMDAS, we have parentheses first, we're going to be solving this first. And so if we divide 18 by 3, we'll be getting 6. And we know this because 6 times 3 is 18. Now we'll just bring this down. So it'll be 6 plus 2. And 6 plus 2 is 8. So that is our answer for the very first question. For number 3, we have no parentheses. However, we have 6 times 7 minus 5. And if you look at our PEMDAS, multiplications comes be before subtraction. And so um, we'll know that we got to do this first, and then we'll do this second. So if we do 6 times 7, we'll be getting 42. And we'll just bring this down, minus 5. And our answer would be 37. On the next page, we got the mental math. And for question number one, it shows us that 7 times 2 equals 14. However, we got to solve the problem 7 times 20, 7 times 200, and 7 times 2,000. Now, a trick to this is that because you already know what 7 times 2 is, all you need to do is add 0 to the very back. So 7 times 2 is 14. And when we add 0, it's going to be 140. Now, to prove that this is correct, we could do 20 times 7. We could set it up this way. And when we do this, 7 times 0 is 0. 7 times 2 is 14. And we could see that we got the same answer as this one. On the next problem, we got 7 times 200. We know that 7 times 2 is 14. So we add the two zeros at the very back. And to prove this, we could do 200 times 7. 7 times 0 is 0. 7 times 0 is 0. And 7 times 2 is 14. And we can see that we got the same answer as this one. Last question, we got 7 times 2, which is 14. And we'll just add the zeros at the very back. And to prove that this is correct, we'll do 2,000 times 7. So 7 times 0 is 0. And then 7 times 2 is 14. And as you can see, we got the same answer as when we did over here. Alright, on the third page, we'll be looking at expressions with variables. And we, I'm going to go over the question number one and number five. Question number one, we got five times 4,000. And as we learned on the other page earlier, on the mental math page, we just need to figure out what four, five times four is to and add the zeros at the very end. So five times four is 20. And we just add three zeros to the end. We got the answer 20,000. We have 6 times n equals 4,200. What we need to do to solve this problem would be we need to try to get the n by itself. And so we'll have to remove all these to this side. And in order to do that, we'll divide 6. Because in a multiplication, we need to divide and if this was a division, we'll multiply 6 on both sides. So then when we do this, we're left with n equals 4,200 
Here, let me write down over here. 4,200 divided by 6 is N. And when we solve that, we'll get the answer 700. So we could just write that down right over here. Last page, we got the multiplications. And for question number 1, we have 3 times 43. For this equation, I would put it in this format, just so that it's easier to see in the eye. And when we look at it this way, 3 times 3 is 9. This way, four, 3 times 4 is 12. So we just bring that over here, and the answer will be 129. Alright, let's do one more. So we got, we'll be doing number 10. Number 10, we'll set up the equation 57 times 4. Now, 4 times 7 is 28. And 4 times 5 is 20. But we got to add 2, so it'll be 22. And we bring this over to here. And we write our answer 228. And enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.